And Dr. K. Jean Lucas is with us from Diabetes and Endocrinology Consultants. Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. All right. What are we talking about today? Sugar babies. Uh, sugar babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the movie, though. <laughs> Diabetes and pregnancy. Yeah. Diabetes and pregnancy. Mm -hmm. uh, which I should say for Labor Day. You know, <laughs> since Labor Day is in honor of pregnant women. Oh, is it really? Yeah, that's really. Everybody that, thinks yes. it's something else, yes. but it really okay. is. <laughs> Well, hey, if a pregnant woman tells me that, I'm going to believe it. That's right. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. <laughs> All right. So uh, what are we talking about here? Well, first we'll talk about people that have diabetes that get pregnant because that's real important. Um, there's no problem with them getting pregnant. It's just they have to plan ahead. And mm -hmm. now often that's hard to do sometimes. Although with birth control pills or birth control methods, usually you can. Uh, you want to have your sugar really well controlled because diabetes um, in pregnancy changes through the nine months. So mm -hmm. the first three months, the baby sort of uh, sucks sugar out of your body. So the blood sugar tends to drop. So mm -hmm. if you have diabetes and you're pregnant, you want to watch it the first three months because you could need less insulin or less medicine. The second three months, it's um, pretty much stabilized. It's not really anything that happens. The third three months, though, is, is when the hormones that make the baby grow um, start making the mother's blood sugar go up and it goes up a lot mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot of times when people will be diagnosed with gestational diabetes and we'll talk about that in a minute but uh, the last three months are the higher blood sugars so you really have to uh, work on that because the baby's growing then uh, when you have diabetes and you're pregnant the baby tends to be bigger uh, because the sugar from you goes to the baby right so and, it, well, you say in the first three months, the sugar, uh, the baby is taking in a lot of sugar. Is that right. normal? Is that yeah, that's normal. Mm -hmm. um, and most people, you know, that don't have diabetes don't really have anything different happen. But people with diabetes, especially on insulin or on mm -hmm. multiple shots of insulin or insulin pump, may notice a requirement for insulin dropping during that first three months. Of course, you're going to be checking your blood sugar a lot of times. In pregnancy, people with diabetes should check their blood sugar before and after every meal and at night in the middle of the night and just all the time just to keep the blood sugar as good as possible uh, so that they'll have a good outcome to the pregnancy. Okay and then you mentioned about uh, they are likely to have a higher birth weight? Yes what happens is um, the blood the sugar if it's high in the mother it goes across to the baby um, the baby sees the sugar and makes more insulin. Mm -hmm. So that's normal. Um, if, the, if they have more sugar coming in, um, sweeter food from the placenta, and they make more insulin, and insulin is a growth factor and makes them um, put down more fat around the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, so just like in adults who have fat around the middle, the babies can get a little chubby around the middle. And you go, oh, that's cute. You know, babies are cute if they're right. chubby, but right. it's really not good because They've also done studies following up on these babies and they have a tendency to be overweight, usually by two years old. Mm -hmm. And then they have a tendency that the, the girls have a tendency to get gestational diabetes also um, later when they're pregnant, if their mother has had gestational diabetes when they were pregnant with them. Now, uh, we have we have called diabetes by different names over the years, but we still call it gestational. I mean, that's still the right yeah, gestational diabetes. Gestation means, of course, something happening right. when you're pregnant. Um, so we're talking about the bigger babies are usually the ones that people have had diabetes the whole pregnancy. Uh, and that's a little bit of difference. Uh, you worry about with gestational diabetes because you don't, sometimes don't know when they got diabetes. Right. Uh, gestational diabetes can be diagnosed any time during the pregnancy. So if you're pregnant, if you're two weeks pregnant, <laughs> and you're diagnosed with diabetes, it's still gestational diabetes even though you had it before you mm -hmm. got pregnant, but it was diagnosed while you were pregnant. So that's a little different. Uh, so the baby can get bigger and that's a problem with delivery, especially a first baby. If a baby's nine or 10 pounds, it's really, it's harder to get it out. Mm -hmm. And um, then the other thing that happens with a baby is that if your sugar is high before you get pregnant, then the baby has more of a risk of birth defects. And the birth defects are spinal cord, heart defects, um, and they're related to the A1C before pregnancy. The A1C is the average blood sugar over three months. So if you have A1C over 7.3, um, 
then you have more risk. It doesn't mean that you're going to have birth defects. It just means it's a higher risk than normal. Good reason for women in general, uh, especially those who are planning families, to, to have their blood sugar checked regularly, even though they're not pregnant yet. Yes, if you're planning, if you stop birth control pills, you really need to have your A1C uh, in the sevens. I like six to seven without a lot of low blood sugars uh, before you get pregnant so that you have the best outcome possible. Mm -hmm. And, and now, again, it's more likely that women who develop gestational diabetes will then carry on with uh, uh, type 2? Yes. Um, if you stay overweight mm -hmm. and you've had gestational diabetes, um, you have a 90% chance of getting diabetes in 10 years. And that's uh, pretty amazing, actually. But uh, the ones that are just gestational diabetes, they don't have a family history, they go back to normal weight. Um, they're like 10% chance. So mm -hmm. it depends on your, what weight you carry on, especially abdominal fat. Um, so the best thing to do is not get excessive amounts when you're pregnant. You're really not eating for two. Uh, the baby will take what it wants mm -hmm. from you. <laughs> you just eat normal food. And you really want to eat healthy when you're pregnant, of course. Um, you want to eat healthy before you get pregnant. So that with diabetes, if you have diabetes and you're trying to get pregnant, you really need to keep your sugar controlled even before the pregnancy. The longer, the better. If you are uh, not completely in control during your pregnancy, is that dangerous to the baby? Yes, because of the birth defects and the uh, big baby mm -hmm. problem. Right. Uh, but but uh, a person with a gestational diabetes, they're, they're likely to have a pretty large baby anyway, aren't they? Or they can. I thought all the bigger babies, uh, when they were reported bigger babies, it's more when you have diabetes the whole time. <clears throat> I mean, gestational, you've only had diabetes for, you know, three months and it's diagnosed real early. Um, and so usually that's not a problem. And a lot of times they'll deliver the babies early if they think they're going to be overweight. They'll do an ultrasound and sort of see the abdominal fat. Um, content and sort of you know help that along as far as delivering a little bit early if they can. Mm -hmm. All right uh, again we're talking about uh, diabetes during pregnancy. Welcome back here on Coastal Daybreak here on the talk station FM 107 and AM 1240 724 in the morning we're with uh, Dr. KG and Lucas from Diabetes and Endocrinology Consultants. They bring you Sugar Talk every Monday morning talking about Pregnancy and diabetes. What about uh, type one diabetes? Uh, obviously, well, you're you're hopeful anyway that that the woman would know that going into it. Yes, uh, type one or type two is the same idea. Type two, a lot of times, are on different medicines than insulin. So they might be on oral agents, metformin, mm -hmm. uh, some other medications. There's plenty of medicines for type two now. But really, the only medicines that a type two can take when they're pregnant is metformin. Glyburide is another one that they use, um, and they use it in gestational diabetes, and then insulin. So a lot of type 2s end up on insulin by the time they're the third trimester, just because they become more insulin resistant the third trimester with all the hormones coming out. Type 1, of course, <clears throat> they know they usually know they have type 1, although some people do develop type 1 when they're pregnant. Uh, or after or right after they're pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, but type 1 is the same idea. So really for everybody with diabetes, no matter what type you have, your sugar needs to be well controlled before uh, you get pregnant. And then for type 2s, there are a lot of newer medicines for diabetes which have not been studied in pregnancy. They will need to stop all mm -hmm. those medicines. So if you're on uh, Victoza or Genuvia, uh, the newer ones like Farsiga or Imbicana, you would need to stop those when you get pregnant. Oh, okay. Because there's no information about pregnancy uh, other than rat, you know, data, mm -hmm. and that's not usually applicable. Yeah, not good enough. <laughs> yes, uh, but are there continuing studies about that? Is that something you're looking at, or? Uh, we don't do studies uh, in pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are people that do that. Uh, it's sort of a risky business to do mm -hmm. studies when you're pregnant. Um, but everybody's their own experiment when you're pregnant, so you don't know really what's going to happen. The best you can do is stay on your diet, eat well, don't eat a lot of foods that make you need more insulin, especially the third trimester because you'll gain a lot of weight then. Mm -hmm. um, then you'll be stuck with that weight later because the baby may weigh, you know, eight or nine pounds. Uh, and then if you gain 50 pounds, then guess what? You know, you have all that weight going into another pregnancy. So a lot of women have weight gain every pregnancy. Uh, and they end up being way overweight later, and they end up with, if they don't have diabetes before they're pregnant, they have diabetes later. Is gestational diabetes more likely in second or third births? Um, it, 
I don't think it matters. It matters about the age of the mother. Mm -hmm. So the older you are, the more risk you have of gestational diabetes. If your mother has had gestational diabetes, then you're more likely to get it. If you're overweight, you're more likely to get it. Uh, so all those are risk factors. The same risk factors for type 2 diabetes or mm -hmm. for gestational diabetes. And uh, they will check you by doing, giving you this real sweet sugary drink um, and find out. Or they'll do it one hour after drinking that and see what your blood sugar is. And if it's a over uh, 135, 140, then they'll do a long glucose tolerance test. Mm -hmm. So they will give you another sugar load and see what your blood sugar is. And then if you fit the criteria for gestational diabetes, then they'll make you check your blood sugar before and after eating uh, through the rest of the pregnancy. And if they need to add medications, they will. But the diet is really the most important thing through the whole pregnancy anyway. Now, uh, do uh, are injectable um, insulin, is that also used during gestational diabetes? Yes. Uh, so if the blood sugar stays above a certain amount, then they'll start insulin at meals and long at insulin at night. Okay, so so mom already stressed with pregnancy, so <laughs> be adding that to it. Yeah, it's real, well it's too, real right? fun. The best yeah. way is to be a normal weight before you get pregnant, not to gain excessive weight when you're pregnant and stay on a healthy diet. The myth of eating for two, then, right? Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> if you want to find out more, go to beachdoctor.com for more from diabetes and endocrinology consultants, and you can join us every Monday morning for Sugar Talk with Dr. K. Jean Lucas.